Okay, we're rolling, everything good? Wow. Just like Kill Tony, sometimes you get a big break, sometimes you end up with nothing. That's gold right there. Look at that. Hey now. It's all good. Give a little bit. Give a little bit of your love to me. I'm solid, huh? Yep. So the comedy store didn't have much going on at the time, and there was Red Band who had his own podcast network. I was featured on a lot of the podcasts. And so when it was time to come up with my own, I wanted to do one live in front of a live audience because that's more fun than sitting in a boring studio telling the same stories about your life over and over again. So, uh, so we went live at the Comedy Store and I used my Comedy Store open mic hosting experience where comedians would do three minute long sets and then I would do, I'd make fun of them or give them advice from on stage and I decided to mash that all together into a, uh, a super open mic. You know, sometimes I'd be sitting in the back of the original room at the Comedy Store and Another comedian would sit next to me and we would be laughing at ourselves, whispering in each other's ears about what I'm making fun of whatever comedians on stage to each other. And it would be some of the funniest stuff. And I thought to myself, how do we show the comedy fans this side of it? Like comedians talking about comedy with comedians. And uh, that was another big part of the, uh, another big part of the idea is like, following him. Yeah is um, how do we uh, how do we show these new comedy fans what it's like from that perspective. And so we got a guest and we started the show. And um, then we just constantly evolved it from there. And the rest is history, I think. That's how it started. Thank God for the Comedy Store, uh, a place that actually develops people and cares about their own type of artists. Because uh, I don't think it would have been able to really gain momentum anywhere else. There was, there's so many comedians hanging out there at all times, and the night that we do it, there's an open mic and. Um, so there's a lot of comedians around. They wanted an extra opportunity, especially once they found out that, you know, thousands of people are listening to it and whatnot. And that's it. And that's how it started. Right there, hold it there. Good. Good. Actually, that's a little bit low. Just pull back even. Yep. Good. Yep. Here we go. One of the things that is the, without a doubt, the driving force of a lot of our success is uh, we get talked about a lot from other comedians on their podcasts 
There's moments where on Rogan's podcast, there's Ari Shafir, Tom Segura, and Burt Kreischer, and they're all talking about how great Kill Tony is and how fun I am at making fun of people and how funny the band is at being silly and hilarious. And, and that's like a, a major endorsement. Is there any chance that uh, someone ordered a pizza for us? Was that on our rider? What's that? Was did you get the was there pizza on the thing for us? I can get you pizza. Yeah, can you just order a large pepperoni, whatever your favorite pizza in town that delivers is? Sure. All right, great. I can get it made here if you want. Is it good here? Decent. Decent. We it's want like, we want your thin, favorite. Thin crust. We eat a lot of pizza. Oh, it's thin crust. It's pretty good. Um, I can I can have as many pizzas as you want made here. Yeah. You want a thin? You want this place's thin crust or the best place? I mean, it's, it's up to you. Yeah, I can, get you, I can get you one of everything we make. I think they got like four or five different ones. I think it probably. All right, let's do that. We'll do that. You want that for now? Yeah, we'll try that out. These people pay money for a ticket to see a show. I know that if I paid money for a show, you know and was gonna be stuck in a seat for two hours, I'd want it to be damn good. Especially if I was gonna go back to it after seeing it once before. So, that's why it's important to figure out how to make these moments and, um, you know, just make it so that people are like, my God, I can't miss whatever's going to happen next. Oh. Tony kind of does before shows, he checks with the bartenders or the staff to check on local references and kind of explore what's been going on in the areas that we are visiting to kind of get a pulse and a gauge on what's going on currently. I'm looking for only references that everybody in the audience will know. So like, what's going on here in Calgary? So let's talk about it. What's the gay part of town? Uh, or gay street? The, I mean, and by, I'm, I'm asking for what, what is the most iconic part that everybody will know? It's the bar? Yeah. What about street area? Twisted Elements, the most famous one? Chris. Gonna bring out the angry Twisted Element Bear. That's funny. Oh, Kensington. Why does that ring a bell? Okay, yeah, I'll save that for hipsters. Give me more. Kensington is hipsters. Okay, let me ask you this. Uh, what is the ethnicities of the people that live here? White, 90%? Yeah. And then what's 10%? Asian. Asian. What kind of Asian? Like Chinese. Chinese? Yeah. Chinese and East Indian. Why are there East Indians here? Are there igloos out here? No. Um, so it's an oil town. This is like the Texas of Canada, right? Everybody's got a truck, everybody's manly, they're all tough out here. Um, and what else? What else about Calgary, guys? Who's the new prime minister? Justin, Justin Trudeau, that's right. Really? I thought everyone liked that guy. Your sports team is the Calgary Flames? Yeah. There's no other sports here, right? Once a year in July for two weeks, the entire city shuts down and gets wasted. Really? What's that called? The Calgary Stampede. The Calgary Stampede. I did know about that. Ari Shafir once tried to bring me up here for that. Yeah, yeah. So this girl got double teamed at the Stampede and now she's like locally famous. Pot's legal now. Right? Everywhere in Canada now. Um... Okay, so that's Calgary. One of the reasons why I don't think it became a, a Netflix show or a TV show is that you can't really describe Kill Tony in like one sentence. Like there is no one line that describes Kill Tony. It's such a multifaceted, extreme comedy show. And one of the reasons why you know, without a doubt, is the fact that sometimes it's not a comedy show. Sometimes it's a very serious show with a lot of laughter mixed in. Wow. I never know what to do with these things. What? Well, these... it depends on how small your head is. Gotcha. So what we do sometimes when we 
don't have a mirror back here. What we'll do, get ready. Nah, I don't need it, fuck it. Is this. We'll pull out. Pull out the camera function on our phone, like the selfie mode, and then we'll hold it for each other to see how each other, how we look. Great. Good? Yeah. Great. Joel and I always get put in the weirdest spots because we're, we have to be separated from Tony and Brian before the show so they don't see us. What do you think the weirdest one is Ben? Oh, Skankfest. Oh, in the stairwell. Yeah. Not even, no, the, the one time kitchen. we were in the oh, back. No. stoop? Yeah, it was like an outside stoop, like... There was like an axe that was out there. Yeah, everything's rusty. Oh my god, dude. Oh, fuck. It's pretty good, dude, I must say. Pretty good, dude. But yeah, giving these people a chance to, you know, show off a talent that they have or have their first kiss or things like that. It's just like, I always ask myself what, if I was pulled out of that bucket, whether it's year one, year two, three, four, five, six, what would I want to happen to me if I did good? And if I did bad, what would I expect that the worst that could happen would be? And I ask myself these things and, you know, you mix in these moments of, if you put yourself in position to do it, you can make almost anything happen. Um, and I feed off of that. I feed off of the energy of people around me. Hey, this is Red Band coming to you live from Calgary for a brand new episode of Kill Tony. Give it up for Tony Hinchcliffe. You guys ready to start tonight's show? This is it. We're here. This is as real as it gets, people. We're live. You get 60 seconds uninterrupted. You know your time is up when you hear the sound of a kitten. That means wrap it up then or else you're going to bring out the angry, twisted element bear. <laughs> Very good. And then I interview you and we talk with you about your life, try to figure out more about you if you have anything special about you or something that's extra Canadian about you. We want to figure that out here tonight and uh, we'll all get through it together. You guys ready to start this fucking show live from Calgary, Canada? All right. Then let's do it. We have the royal family. We have Red Band. We have the Bucket of Destiny. I'm pulling out yet another name out of the Bucket of Destiny. And the name that I pulled is Sam Walker. Sam Walker. Hey. Put a gun against his head. Pull that trigger. Now he's dead. Come on, guys. Sam Walker, everybody. Excited to be here. <laughs> this is a good looking crowd. I haven't seen this many good looking people in one place since the judge called all the witnesses at my indecent exposure trial. <laughs> Don't worry, I got off. little bit about me. I like to walk the streets at night. And pleasantly surprise people by not attacking them. Let's talk about my sex life here for a minute. There are two very distinct traits that I look for in a lover. Weak and vulnerable. Wow. Sam Walker, ladies and gentlemen. Ty Shore, you can forget about that set of the night thing so far that I told you uh, 
two minutes ago. Wow, Sam Walker, very impressive. What a funny fucking character you are, sir. How long you been doing stand-up? I mean, the truth is, is that the minute's one thing, but the interview's really the most important part of the whole thing. People being honest, being vulnerable, staying hilarious. You know, you can have 60 seconds of good material, but we really find out the real meat and potatoes about you in the, um, in the interview part. It's, it's a tough position, because they have no idea what I'm gonna ask. And, uh, and uh, you know, even everybody that's ever won a golden ticket, they don't win it with the 60 seconds. You have to be a well-rounded, not just performer, but also improviser and just human. You have to be a great guest on the podcast, not just a great comedian for a minute. Get out of there. How long you been doing stand-up? Be five years in March. Damn right, it shows, my man. Let's check in with, uh, we're gonna check in with Prince Harry. It's nice to finally know that OJ did not actually murder that woman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. But only Sam. one glove. So let's talk about it. With the, the, your character seems very much like uh, who you are. Uh, how close are the two? It's just the volume turned up to 100. <laughs> but it's, a, it's a like 89 right now, though. <laughs> it, <doesn't say. laughs> it can go higher. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, don't give me that look. I am both weak and vulnerable right now. I really hope we find out this is Sasha Baron Cohen doing it. <laughs> My goodness. You have a real fanny pack there, Sam. What's inside of it? Condoms and Vicodin. <laughs> Wow. Yes, uh, question for you. How do you look like a Boy Scout at the bottom, Freddy Krueger in the middle, and Theo Vaughn at the top? <laughs> That's very good. That is a great question. How do you do that? Getting roasted by beans over here, the musical fruit. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. So you live here in Calgary? Yeah, born and raised. Very cool. What else? What else should we know about you? Anything else interesting about Sam Walker that this sold out capacity audience here in your hometown should know? I used to be married yeah. to a woman. <laughs> what happened there? Where is her body? It's obviously not in your hair. <laughs> no one talks to my man like that. Wow. You come at Beans, you come at the royal couple. <laughs> my goodness. It's a revolutionary war happening up here right now. Fair's fair. <laughs> Very good. You in town tomorrow night? You goddamn right I am. How about you, uh, how about you come here? I have two stand-up shows. You want to open up for me? Daddy, I'd love to. There you go. How about that? Well, then we'll see you tomorrow. 7 and 10 p.m. here at the Laugh Shop, Calgary, Canada. There goes Sam Walker. Sam Walker Live. Yes. <laughs> that was awesome. There you go. Tomorrow night, that guy will have a new biggest credit. <laughs> Sam Walker was up first. It was a great performance, hilarious, and he stayed in character. Um, and I could tell that he was a real comedy vet from doing this so often. 
It was clear as day, absolutely hilarious. And then during the interview part, I'm finding out, you know, is there anything that I'm missing here? Is there a, a you know, just trying to make sure that there's not a catch to something. Like, you know, if the guy's a piece of shit, I'm not gonna give him that opening spot. It's not that interesting of a story, you know? You wanna make the audience want something good to happen to this guy without them knowing that that's what you're doing. You know, they didn't know that I was casting the opening spot for my weekend shows. That's not a thing that happens all the time, but it happened this time. And that's, that, that's a big, like what, what Sam did is, what Sam did kind of shows you what is possible with the show if somebody take his, takes advantage of their one minute because there's a lot of people who will go up in the show, they're like, oh, I didn't know I was gonna be called or they're not ready. And then they don't get anything out of it because they didn't put the work into it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I can't believe what we're seeing here. Okay, pulled another name out of the bucket. This looks like a fun one. Let's see what happens here. Make some noise for Sam Benty. Sam Benty, another Canadian coming to the stage here on Kill Tony. Wow, he's running. Sam Benty. Here he comes. Ah! Sam Benty. I'm trying not to smoke as much weed recently. <laughs> so I've been eating a lot of weed recently. I, I eat so much weed that my farts smell like Amsterdam. Like a little like pot, a little like a sex show, but also like wooden shoes and cheese for some reason. Uh, I, I've still been uh, smoking a lot of pot. And, and that's because I got given a, a real crystal bong for Christmas. And I know it's real crystal because I do the wine glass test where it goes around the rim and it's like, but, but it's a real crystal bong, so it goes ding, 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 don't worry, ding, ding. It's real crystal. Yeah. <laughs> it. If you do that test and it plays Amy Winehouse, you got yourself a crack pipe. You gotta throw that out. Thanks, like Wow. Sam Benty. That was great, dude. Congratulations, look at that. Real performer, came up and performed, enunciated, projected, wrote properly. Yeah, I got a drama degree, so I better use it. Hell yeah. Sometimes. Absolutely. Why would yeah. you study all that drama if you're not going to use it for something? No. Uh, so, Sam, uh, welcome, welcome. How long have you been doing stand-up? Uh, like, like seven years. Very cool. Hell yeah. You're from here in Calgary? Yeah, m m most of it here in Calgary. I love it. Yeah. This is one of my favorite things about the show. Alongside yeah. people doing it for their first times, doing good or bad, being surprised that... Uh, that they even got pulled out of a bucket. There's actual comedy veterans, solid comedians signing up for the show tonight. That's so fucking yeah. cool. So seven years. What else? How about hobbies when you're not working? What uh, are we talking about? What do you do to relax, take your mind off of this uh, strenuous life that you have? Oh, man. Uh, I love going to karaoke. You do? Like singing. That, yeah. That's my favorite what's thing. Your, what's your main go-to song on karaoke? Oh, I, li I like doing like, like each morning I get up, I die a little. Can't Hold on. barely stand on my feet. What? Like something like that. What? I, I, uh, it's, uh, oh, it's, uh, what is that? That's Somebody to Love by Queen, I think. That's, uh, somebody sorry. to Love Queen. Yeah. <laughs> I got news for you, my friend. You're about to sing Somebody to Love right now in Calgary, Canada. Oh, shit. Can yeah. 
will be our part. Okay. Me. Somebody to love. Fuck yeah, Sam Benty, ladies and gentlemen. Live in Calgary, Canada. Each morning I get up, I die a little. Can't help it, stand on my feet. Take a look. He's taking off his clothes. And I cry. Lord, what you doing to me? I've spent all my years in believing you, but I just can't get no relief. Lord, somebody, somebody, can anybody find me? Somebody love. Yeah, how about that? Wow. That was good. The whole crowd got behind you on the somebodies and the big finish there. Oh, Exciting, man. Sam. How, you must get all the pussy here in Canada, huh? Yeah. Did no. you notice that stopped about six years ago? Uh, I, I hang out at Twisted Element too much for that. Oh, that's cool. So you're a Canadian gay man. Uh, no, no, I was oh. just run, I was running a comedy show actually out of there uh, when I was living here last time. I just moved back to town, so I'm just kind of in transition. We love you. So. Sam, it's okay if you're gay. You're allowed to say it just because you're... I know you're in Calgary around all these manly men and you feel like... But, I mean, if they're dragging anybody behind their truck tonight, it's probably uh, Lahan from earlier. Who, yeah. Lahan Olawale. And while you groan, he's laughing, you fucking idiots. While you groan, he's laughing. Just to let you fucking weirdos know. Fun times, dude. Unbelievable sets. Really great stuff. Thanks Congratulations to you. How much time do you have, you think, total, if you had oh. to guess? Oh, uh, yeah, like a half an hour. I did, oh, I just that's did. great. Yeah. You want to do five minutes on the two shows I'm doing here Saturday night? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Saturday. Yeah. Saturday. Sweet. Oh, Thanks a lot, guys. You can be here Saturday? You can make it here Saturday? Yeah, I, I can do that. I can do seven that. Seven and ten. There you go. Sam Benty, everybody. There he goes. He's on Twitter at Sammy Ray Benty. Man. Oh, yeah. Well, the people who do well on the show get rewarded handsomely for it. And the way we kind of look at the meet and greet is the show's not done until everybody's out of the door. I stay in character sometimes during the meet and greet. I think some people like it. Some people might be weirded out by it. I don't know. Sometimes it makes me more comfortable to just stay in character because once I'm locked in, it's easier for me to, after everybody leaves, get out of the character rather than like staying in costume and then be like, oh, hi, I'm Jeremiah, even though I'm wearing all this Prince garb. So I think there's just kind of a buzzing energy until everybody's out that door and then we can finally relax and that's why we like to play pool and unwind like this after the shows. There he is. Lovely. Welcome to the fray, my Tony. friend. Oh, cool. Thanks, Daddy. It's just, it's just me, you, and him tomorrow night, dude. Honor. Honor. Yeah, honor. Thank you so much, man. Okay, yeah, so I was uh, probably the biggest set of my life thus far. Yeah. Was saying. Oh, oh, absolutely. Thanks a lot for the opportunity. The next two biggest ones are tomorrow night. I'll be ready, man. Let's go. You're gonna go home. You're part of uh, the Calgary Kill Tony documentary. You didn't even know that, but you got that going on. This is a quadruple hit for you tonight. I'll take it. You got, you got four gigs for signing up for one show. Thank you Powerful. Thanks so That's what all the hard work and fucking preparation and natural talent, that's what it gets you. Success. That's right. <laughs> when preparation meets opportunity. You're goddamn Success. motherfucking right. Macho man. You're goddamn fucking right. Thanks, Daddy. I you appreciate did it. that. Absolutely. Um, I'll see you tomorrow. Seven much? and ten tomorrow night. What's better for you? Five or ten? Ten, please. Let's do ten. That'd be amazing. Dude, yeah, dude. thank you so much. Oh, that, yeah. was, uh, that was awesome. Yeah, nice to meet you, man. You gotta get the yeah. party started. It might be weird in the opening, opening, opening spot, but you can get them. Don't right? worry, man. I'm ready okay. to uh, right. ready to throw down. Right. You'll be bringing up Jeremiah Watkins. You can research his Jeremiah. credits in the meanwhile. I'll like, yeah. see you guys tomorrow. He's the leader of the band for the podcast, Kill so Tony. Yeah. Yeah. Roast yeah. Battle. He's got his own hit podcast called Jeremiah Wonders. You gotta bring him up, dude. You're not bringing me up. He's bringing me up. But you gotta bring him up, and you gotta do it we good. Do piggyback style. Piggyback. Okay, I got you. I'll be. Uh, I'll do my homework. I'll be ready. I love it. Rock and roll, Sam Walker. Yeah. No Thank you, dude. No Thank you. homework. Yeah, yeah, just like, like I said, like I said, like I said during the show, if it wasn't for 
a couple people in episode being badass veterans and fucking, you know, Fuck not yeah. looking at it like, oh, this is for first timers and open micers, but you look yeah. at it, you treated it like, holy shit, I can kill so hard that I can. One minute, man, that was, right. that That's was intense. intense. And look what you did. Yeah, I, I just wanted to, to try to do something that would be a, a good example of my comedy in one minute. Try to, to really boil that down, so I chose just that, that stuff. I really like this uh, podcast. Like, uh, uh, one of my favorite things is just hearing what other cities, like comedians, are talking about and what they think is like important to do on stage. I think it's a good uh, resource, not to copy, but to go to other directions. Man, I'm, I'm, just, yeah. I'm glad I paid for a ticket and it paid off. That was the, probably the hottest minute of comedy I've ever done. Uh, all day I was going over in my head, if I got the opportunity, what was I going to do? And it basically came down to do my regular opening and just see how far I can go in a minute. See how many jokes I can get in. The gold standard is four LPMs, last per minute. And that was what I wanted, was get four in a minute. The biggest thing was people knew my name when it got called. That was a huge deal for me, is people that have been coming to the shows. I've been doing guest spots here for the last five years. Uh, they've been putting me up, and people have slowly been getting a, a taste. I never get to do more than like five minutes kind of deal, but it doesn't matter. I like to keep it tight and just hit them hard. Boom, 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 no, no dead air kind of deal. They recognized me and remembered me, and it's just uh, the fact that that's gonna be on the internet for the rest of my life, I'm very pleased about that. That's a huge, huge deal. So, day at a time, I'm ready for tomorrow. The opportunity for to be in Calgary and do it, I had people contact me from across Canada saying that Kill Tony is coming to Calgary, are you gonna be there? And so I owed it to them to put my hat in the bucket and one minute turned into four shows for this uh, the rest of this weekend. And I intend to give me 10 minutes too, so I'm gonna knock their dicks in the dirt. One minute on Kill Tony can change your life. I'm very proud of, uh, of what we've been able to accomplish so far. I get to work with my funny friends, and they're all different and silly and fuck. And um, and uh, we get to travel the world together. It's a lonely road out there, and getting to work with your friends and show them Australia and what, look at them laughing while holding koala bears. And you know, when you're out there all alone, even though you're having fun and doing big shows, it's just not the same if there's no one there to really share it with you. And so. Not only am I proud of what we get to do with the fans and they get to see something that they're into and hear sounds that they recognize like the cat and the bear and all these things, but I get to work with, uh, I get to work with my friends and that's pretty priceless. Oh, you son of a bitch. I hate my friends sometimes.